uh, as I sort of prefaced with like at some level of size, that gets harder. Do you think this changes quite a bit, this sort of alignment issue or the product launch reasons for success or failure based on maybe the size of the company? Like, is it different things that make product launches fail at small companies versus big companies? Or perhaps um, the business model, the one that comes to mind for me is maybe the difference between sort of a consumer-centric business, like a B2C business or a B2B business where you're selling to another business. Do you think those are different reasons that product launches fail based on the size of the company or sort of what industry they're focused on? Yeah, I think I think they, those factors definitely uh, have an impact. Um, I mean, the fundamental uh, process or a go-to-market plan is the same, uh, whether it's a large or small company or a B2C or B2B. But then, uh, for example, let's talk about the size of the business, right? So in larger companies, they do have a process. They do have a dedicated go-to-market team. They do have like product marketing managers running a launch process and then investing in like, you know, basically coming up with marketing assets and messaging. But the biggest problem there is, is just stakeholder alignment. It's like not everyone's aligned on the messaging. Not everyone knows what's happening when when a product is launching and how to sell that product or communicate the value prop of the product. So that's like the biggest issue in a large company. In a smaller company, the issue is there is no process. It's almost like you know the, you're you're so tied up in terms of resources. Like, do you really want to spend time in actually coming up with a launch process? And you know, and also people sometimes don't have that skill to actually take a product to the market. Most of it's, uh, most of the uh, efforts in the early stage companies are you know, focused on engineering efforts, just building the product, making sure and there's no UX issues, there's no bugs, there's a stable, versus, versus like actually thinking about, okay, how do I actually position this product? How do I message it to my customers? How do I reach my customers? So I don't think there's enough investment in the process to begin with. So that's the issue in, 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 in earlier stage companies or smaller companies. Um, in a uh, now coming to the business model side of things, when consumer centric or a business centric, then there I think still the fundamental, you know, thinking about like who's your persona, who's your ideal customer profile, you know, how do you message a value prop, how do you position it, you know, what does the market look like? All of that is is exactly the same, but then the channels you use to actually onboard and acquire customers are very different. So you need to think about what you're investing in. Maybe on the B two B side, you probably have a sales led motion or a product led motion, and then on the consumer, it's like a very different way of getting your you know users onboarded and I mean, acquired and onboarded. So that's where a lot of the issues occur. Um, but yeah, I mean, the I think the 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 fundamental go to market process or a go to market strategy and plan, the various components are are pretty much the same, um, but then there are very specific problems when depending on the size of the business model. 